Good evening. I am Chad McLaren, the local malcontent from Second Ward. Sorry. Um, really, <laughs> most of my remarks today are going to be directed um, in this direction here for Mr. Mathis. Um, and reason being is, um, as I kind of look at the structure of the city council and the mayor, and um, I hear some good words coming out of the council. Beyond those doors, I'm not sure how loud that's being heard. It's, it's just, I, I think everybody has kind of the right idea in mind. Um, well, most of us at least. I think some of us are um, not doing as well as we could in a lot of ways. If we're talking about investing in terms of um, money and finances, Mr. Mathis, if I were to say, if you had $1,000 and I could guarantee everything being what it was, you loan me $1,000 today, tomorrow I pay you 1500 Is that a fair return on your money? Would you say that's like, you know, a positive improvement? Not a trick question. It's Sure. Okay. Yeah. All right. So by the same token, that same scenario, if I were to say, give me $1,000 today and I'll give you $5,000, which is the better deal? When do I get the 5000 Next day. Everything being the Next same. Next day, sure. Take the 5000 Sure. So it's a better deal because you're getting a higher rate of return off of your investment, right? These are numbers. Numbers tell a story. Ratios tell a story. And one of the big things that just floors me is whenever we look at ratios, like we see in the traffic stop report, where the black community is being pulled over 500%. That's a pretty good return on investment if you're an investor, but terrible if you're a black person in Columbia. And, you know, I don't mind if we look at this and say, hey, we have a problem in Columbia with policing the black community. But that's not the message that we're getting. Um, I'm going to pull out, like, you know, a, a quote I got from you. Um, City manager Mike Mathis follows up with, we continue to look at the data and have not seen an apparent pattern of profiling. What constitutes an apparent pattern of profile filing if you're not looking at the dissimilarities in the way that they're treated based upon raw data? What does it take to convince you that there might be a problem? Are we looking at any problems or for problems? Are we looking at ways to improve? Because I'm not seeing it, and I'm sure the black community is not feeling it. The nice thing is, like, you know, I, I have a ton of respect for the lieutenant back here. I think the CLU is a great model and step forward. But we're not getting that message from leadership. We're not getting that from you. We're not getting that from Chief Burton. And so if we're not getting it from those two places, how do you think we're going to change the organization? I, I would never suspect you of being ignorant on these issues. I have to question your priorities. I have to question what your intent is. Because to me, it is obviously painfully apparent that we have a problem in this community. This country has a rife problem. It is appalling the way that we treat some of our citizens. This state has some of the worst offenses. And this community should not be sitting by anywhere near and looking at these figures and saying, we don't see a pattern. When you have like such blatant disparities in these figures, 10% of the population here is bearing the burden of half of the policing efforts. That is humongous. And I don't see any way that that can be justified. And as a result, at best, I would expect you to say, we have problems. We have a trend going the opposite direction of progress. So either the answer is, yes, we have problems, or we're looking into this, or there's this concern, and we're going to make the right action and dig deeper, that would be at least something that I could hold on to hope. But this idea that you can't see patterns or you can't see the value just tells me you know how to value money, but you don't know how to value the black community. That's all I got. Thank you for your comments. Any additional public comment? 